Hi there, I'm Russ Sallow with gps to go I'm here today to introduce my company and the Geotab technology to the Ontario Federation of Snowmobile Clubs. If you're watching this, you probably are going to receive some of our Geotab GPS devices. And what we're going to do with this is give you an explanation of what to expect in the box, what we're all about, and you know how this product is going to benefit you. GPS to go, we've been reselling the product for 12 years. If you've ever watched Heavy Rescue 401, those people all use the Geotab product. Geotab has over 3 million devices deployed around the world. And again, it's an Ontario company, um, something to be very, very proud of. You'll receive boxes and we're gonna show you what's inside of maybe our satellite device, maybe our cellular device, and some of our cables. So let's have a look inside and see just what you're gonna expect. So when you receive your equipment, we have set it up that districts one through 10 will receive the Go Rugged device only. And that means that you're only getting the cellular device and not the Iridium satellite add-on. So if you're in the first 10 districts, when you receive this, you'll have your box and you'll have your groomer code that we're gonna place on the outside of it. So please put the GPS device in the appropriate vehicle. So the groomer code will match up with the serial number that's on the box and also with the equipment. So as an example, this is what you'll see inside the box. This is what we call our Go Rugged cellular device. And the cellular device is ruggedized IP67 rated. The serial numbers for the device are on the back and then you have your plug and play cables. And these cables will work with, depending on the type of vehicle you have, maybe one of our fuse kit hardwire kits, maybe one of our nine pin Deutsch connectors. You may have a groomer where you're gonna have one of our onboard diagnostic cable kits, which I'll show in a second. Inside of the box, you'll see that there are some mounting screws and you'll have your serial numbers and I recommend what you do is take one of these off and put it inside the vehicle on the door jam maybe on the console so that the next person that goes in there they'll be able to tell exactly which GPS device is in that groomer. The cables that you may receive when you receive the cellular only device and this will be uh, universal every groomer in the OFSC will receive one of these cellular devices. You may receive one of these with a cable and some of you will have seen this kind of thing with big tractor trailers. So the installation will be quite lovely for those of you that have uh, some of them that have a nine pin connector already sticking out of the console. So the Case IHs, the John Deere's, things of that nature, some of the print off um, vehicles have this. So what this allows you to do is you'll dislodge the existing nine pin of the vehicle, have it hang on its own wires, you'll dislodge it from its location. You'll attach this side with the locking collar. This one will go back out the native hole. We have some bracketry for you so that when this goes out it will be secured and the geotab device will plug right in there. So these will plug together just like that. You may have one as well, which may be the standard onboard diagnostic port, much like you would have in a passenger car, a pickup truck, a van. So inside of this, you'll have the same basic three-way T harness as well. So one end of this will go back out the native port of the vehicle. The device will plug in to this end and you'll plug the native port of the vehicle into this end here. Those of you that have ones with a Caterpillar motor or engine in it, you will receive this transfer cable for the Caterpillar engines. 
there are some of the groomers where under the seat there is a connector that looks exactly like that. Remember, don't use that one. It's already open, but it's not for us. It looks like this, but don't plug anything into it. You'll use our connector. And then some of you will have the hardwire kits. So some of the BR-180s and other devices out there, uh, groomers that don't have some kind of modern port and the fuse kit and the hardwire uh, connector is here. So this again will plug right in as we had seen earlier. These plug together and this will give you power. This device, when you receive it, top here there's three little dots. And those three little dots should come on when you receive power to the device. So you have a red one that tells you about power and then you have green and blue that talk about cellular communication, right? And then being able to see the satellites. So when you have all three of those lights power up, you'll know that you're in good shape. Those of you that are in districts 11 through 17, you will receive one of our Iridium satellite units as well. So here's what the bundle may look like. This is one going up to North Bay and we've bundled this together because the satellite device and the cellular device should be paired together. And then we've put the appropriate cabling for the type of groomer. And again, the groomer code is on the outside of the bag. So you'll know exactly which one goes for which groomer. When you open this one up, inside of here, you'll have your conversion cable. This allows you to plug the Iridium satellite device into the cellular device. Inside of here you'll have your stickers with the serial numbers as well. And this is your satellite device. Now the satellite device, don't confuse the satellite antenna with the top of the Go Rugged device. They are not the same thing. The Go Rugged device requires no external antenna. It can just go in to the vehicles upside down, right side up, behind plastic, behind the firewalls of the vehicles. But the satellite device, when you fix this together, must have a clear view of the sky. So please take this and you will clean a glass surface or put it somewhere where it can have a clean view of the sky. Again, 3M tape is on there and you will attach the Iridium satellite device to our Geotab Go Rugged device with the adapter cable that every satellite device will receive. On the satellite device, there are a series of blue wires here. So what you should do is take these blue wires. These are for an emergency button that can be used in a future date. When you take these, take them, cap them off, bundle them up and uh, leave them for later down the road. We won't be putting them in at this time. So again, this is your Iridium satellite add-on. This is the antenna that goes with it and you have many feet of cable here. So you can run that up through the plastic of the device, stick this on the windshield, stick this on the back window. Sometimes we put them flat on the center console where they can see up through to the sky. One other part that I'd like to mention about when you are installing this equipment, uh, once you put it in, if you happen to have the laptop or you have a tablet in the field or even your smartphone, if you go to install.geotab.com and key in the G9 serial number on these devices, it will tell you if it's communicating to the server properly. Now, you're not always gonna get it to communicate when these are indoors and they're not moving. Again, please look for your three indicator lights as your main point of reference that the device is active and working. But again, if you happen to have uh, the ability to have a laptop or a tablet with you, install.geotab.com, 
key in the G9 number and it will tell you within a matter of moments. So if you are in districts 1 through 10 where you're not going to need the Iridium satellite device, you won't receive the Iridium satellite device, you'll receive the Go Rugged device again. Any of these cables you may receive depending on the actual groomer. So these will click together, you click it together and then your power will come out of that or if you happen to have one where you need a fuse kit again this will plug in and give you your power you'll hardwire that in with the schematics that will be given or again if you have a T harness this will fit again together the same way if by chance you also are in districts 11 through 17 and you're also receiving the satellite device so your satellite device will come with this adapter cable so we've got the RX 06S4 and what that'll do when we open that up this will connect between the Geotab Go device and it will plug into this mini USB adapter. So these two will go together. Now I recommend what you do at this point, put a zip tie around here, good and tight. Again, here is your blue emergency wires. So bundle those up nice and tight, tie wrap them to one of the cables. Again, here is your antenna not to be confused of course with the go rugged device so every groomer in the OFC will receive one of these not every groomer will receive the satellite only districts 11 through 17 will receive the true satellite device and again you've got your power cable that will power that but connecting those together you'll use that cable again RX 06S4 to connect the Go Rugged cellular device with our add on wire to the Iridium satellite device. Questions you can reach out to us at gps2go.ca and our phone number is on there as well. Okay, so we open up the door and the GPS system is going to be under this seat. There's an onboard diagnostic port there. Onboard diagnostic port would be removed. And the mechanic is going to put in our onboard diagnostic 16 pin plug and what that will do is it will give you an unobstructed onboard diagnostic port. This is your part number. So you'll have an unobstructed port coming through that area. The other end plugs in to the native plug of the vehicle so when the mechanic comes back you will have an onboard diagnostic port that never needs to be unplugged and there's no product plugged into it make sure to put end number six out through the hole So that bracket will come back out, number six end will come back out, and then you can use the metal clips to secure it in place. Connect the onboard diagnostic port, the native end of the vehicle, into the second end of the Geotab 16 pin cable, and the unfettered, unobstructed other end of the port sticks out. 
All right, in under the seat, there is a gray plug with the orange interior, and this is not for the GeoTab device. This is not one uh, that you can use for the telematics. Our equipment on this pre-north device is over on this side only. So we've also now connected the 16-pin uh, connector and we're now going to power that up through through the um, extra cable and now we've got the go rugged gps device and when you take your go rugged gps device as you're installing these you'll want to also take the sticker from the box and make note of which uh, decal or which uh, device you've put inside which uh, trail groomer so take a notepad and take the sticker put it in and make a note of it another smart idea is when you are putting your GPS tracking in the vehicle you can also take one of our decals like I mentioned put it on the door so you'll know which device is in which trail groomer so in between the long 16 pin onboard diagnostic three-way harness with the three ends you'll need to put in the uh, RS 12s2 cable and then that will end up into your geotab go rugged device so as another note remember this end is identical to the one that we just mentioned please do not plug into underneath the seat. So your geotab kit will come for the pre-north husky with this onboard diagnostic kit and again it has the three ends on it and inside of there again we want you to use bracket number six so if you look on the top these will all have a number on them so use bracket number six there's also some written instructions that can help. So once again, once the 16 pin port is pushed through, you can see that it will clip through using again your bracket number six. We now have the Go Rugged device from GeoTab installed. So this is the GPS tracking device. So when you first plug the go rugged device in you're going to want to make sure that you hear it beeping to life so we will plug this in there we go and then we're going to start to see our indicator lights as you saw early will start to flash and now my trusty assistant is going to turn the vehicle on and we're going to see the three indicator lights come to life Here we go, so red means we have power. And then we also have green and blue. The green is for network and blue is for satellite. And red is for ignition. Alright, there's our blue light come on.